Well, if you haven't already heard the news by now, I'm a fing loser. I lost the phase recruitment challenge. I won't be going to LA. I'm not moving on to the top 20. I won't be competing on the live reality TV show. I fing lost. Am I angry? Am I sad? Am I disappointed? No, not really. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was actually pretty keen on a holiday to LA. In my heart of heart, I know what I did was enough. I know we produced some bangers. I know we produced some quality content. We invested over five grand in our videos, caravans, boats, billboards. We went balls deep. We went all out and that's all we could do. If that wasn't enough, then it wasn't enough. Simple as f***ing that. I do want to say a special congratulations to those that did make it. You're all very lucky. And I hope you have a blast here in LA while I'm sitting here freezing my ass off in New Zealand. But hey, there was many other people that deserved to be there as well. They choose who they wanted to choose. I don't know how the judging system went down. And to be honest, it doesn't faze me. Massive congrats to those that went for I wish you all the best throughout the challenge. And one of you lucky bastards is going to be a f***ing millionaire. While I'm on the bones of my ass, living on bread and potatoes, using one ply toilet paper, driving my car on petrol light. If anything, losing this recruitment challenge has lit a fire inside my ass. That sounded fucked up. If anything, losing this recruitment challenge has given me so much motivation. It really has. The beast inside me has woken up and he's coming out to fucking play. He's ready to trot. Now I could sit here and whinge and cry and say, they, they should have chose me, they didn't choose me because I'm from the other side of the world. What the fuck's that whinging shit gonna do? The results are what the results are. There's nothing I or you or anyone can say to change it. As much as you may disagree with certain, you know, things throughout the competition, not just for me, but if you supported your other favorite creators, you know, Bams, Jinsu, 12th Hour, there was many people that we all felt should have made it. It didn't, it's disheartening, it's disappointing, but you can sit here, you can take the L, but we're gonna just use it to fuel the fire. Use it to inspire you, motivate you to prove people wrong. You know, in life, I like to take my losses as lessons. And the lesson that it taught me is I don't need FaZe Clan. I'm gonna do just well on my own. You know, I invested over five grand promoting the FaZe brand, FaZe boats, FaZe caravans, FaZe billboards. Why not invest that and use it for myself? Promote the Mario brand. You know, I'm already blessed enough to be doing this as a full-time job. It's been, what, nearly three years. That in itself is a win to me. I do what I love every single day. So what sort of ungrateful, spoiled fuck would I be if I sat here and whinged and complained? I'm doing just fine. And we're only just getting warmed up. We're like your grandma's car. We're barely getting fucking started. We're here to trot, we're here to run amok. And we're not gonna stop until we get to where we need to be. Phase may come later in life. It may not come at all. But either way, we're still gonna be doing just fine. We're still gonna be doing what we love every day. We're still gonna be aspiring to be the best. The only difference is I won't be getting that initial boost from Phase. We'll be doing it all on our own. And hey, I quite like the idea of that, I do. But if any of the Phase leaders are watching this, I, I still am pretty keen to join, but. Most of all, I want to thank you guys for the love, the support you showed me throughout this recruitment challenge. All the tweets, the phase, the comments, the likes, everything on all the videos, it had helped in more ways than I can ever explain. Without you guys, I wouldn't have even made it into the top 100, which in itself is an achievement to me, you know. 100 out of 200,000 old people, we made it top 100, which is pretty fucking cool. I am gutted, FaZe didn't send us anything for being in top 100. The year before, they all got the FaZe fucking five hoodies, all top 100 got FaZe five hoodies. This year, we got shit, no G Fuel, no fucking nothing. I was quite looking forward to some G Fuel or a nice hoodie for the winter, but you just didn't even do that for me, so that fucking really hurts. What I did get though was a $50 gift card to the FaZe store, and I went to buy a product, and I had to pay like $50 shipping to get the product here. But hey, I'd still join FaZe, I still like you guys. Weekly vlogs are coming back. I've said it so many times before, but I promise you I'm hungry, I'm starving, I'm ready. Let's take over the fucking game. We're already killing the Twitch game. It's time to kill it with the vlogs. Time to hit 100k on this YouTube channel this year. Let's trot hard, baby. Let's turn our dreams into reality. And let's do what needs to be done. Thank you again for the love, the support. Allowing me to do what I love each and every single day. You guys all know who you are. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Because how the fuck can I quit or give up when I got people like you guys backing me, bro? Let's run this shit till the motherfucking wheels fall off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been your boy Mario. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy. That's for Danya. Good night.